Hey guys, it's Savannah Beach Wave, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before I start today's video, I just want to talk a little bit about Northern Hunters Association. For now on, Northern Hunters Association is only mine. I am the sole owner. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little hunter schooling on my new horse, Lily. Lily is a purebred Andalusian, and she is solely my horse. So no leases, no one else rides her, she's mainly mine. She also it will be permanently my horse, so I do not plan on selling her in the future. Lily is amazing at Hunter Jumper, and she's just so good, and her gates are so beautiful. Okay, I think that's enough said. Why don't we go tack her up, and I'll see you guys at the arena. So the first thing I'm putting on is just her white saddle pad. Then I'm just wearing my jumper saddle. And lastly, her jumper's bridle. So I just started a warm up in the walk going around the arena. As you can see, her gait is just so beautiful and she looks amazing. I don't even have to ask that much for her to go into the walk. She normally just does it with a little qu quick squeeze. I walked a little more off camera and then picked up a posting trot. Her trot is really extended and beautiful and she just looks amazing. In this clip right here though, she did get a little too excited and went down into, into her canter, but then I had to pull her back and eventually made her trot again. Her trot was really good throughout the entire time except for that one time when she tried to go into the canter. I trotted her a little more off camera doing circles and things like that and then I eventually gave her a little walking break before we started to canter. I switched directions right before picking up the canter just because she does mostly better in this direction. She was cantering really nicely, so I decided to ask for a little more in an extended canter. You can see that in this clip right here. Since Lily is a more advanced hunter horse, I decided to start her off on a big jump. She was doing extremely well over her jumps and just looked overall so beautiful as you can see on this jump right here. She did refuse a little bit, so then we went ahead and did it again. Here's her doing the jump again and she cleared it beautifully. For this jump right here too, she did exceptionally well and you can see me cantering up and getting a perfect distance to the jump which really affected the way that she went over just beautifully. She did beautiful on this one as well and you can see her going over it perfectly. She was doing really well over these jumps so I decided that once I was done I was going to take her out for a little trail. She was doing really well over these jumps so I did a couple more just to see how well she could do it. Over the last couple, I decided it would be fun to do a line, so you see her doing it right here, and she did that beautifully. She had a perfect distance, and she goes up to it really nicely and finishes off really clean. I decided to just trot her around for a little cool down before I take her out on the trail. So I just took her bareback in the trail, and so I decided to go through these little flower fields just because it was so cute, and I took a little bit of pictures. Going through the sunflower field was probably the prettiest. It was so beautiful, and I could tell how much she was enjoying it. It wasn't really a trail necessarily. It was more like a path that was right around the arena that we were training at. Then I trailed her back to Silverglade Equestrian Center just so I could hose her off and then turn her out. So I was just washing her, getting all the soap on her, and so I wasn't going to wash her down completely. I was just going to kind of hose her off to cool her down. But then I decided that I wanted to have her clean right before going into the pasture. I hose off all of the shampoo, and now I'm just scraping all the water off and getting all the extra hair when she was shedding. And I made sure to do that on both sides, even though in this clip you can't really see me. You can just see my little boots picking out from underneath her. And then I just scraped out any extra dirt she might have picked up while we were training. So it is relatively cold out outside, so I'm just going to keep her in for the night inside of her stall. But I think that just wraps up this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I know it was a pretty short video, but I just had to get out one really quick so I didn't miss this week's upload. Like I touched on in the beginning of the video, Northern Hunters Association is now solely mine, so there are no co-owners or anything like that. We are currently looking for a new head trainer and instructor, so if you are interested, please make sure you apply in the instructor area. Applications can be found on the website, which are linked in the description below, as well as my social medias. The club's Instagram is also in the description below, and you can also find that on the website, as well as like the Discord, my business email, everything like that. If you have any recommendations for future videos, make sure you leave them in the comments below. I love to hear you guys' feedback. 
Once again, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.